over the years, I've seen a lot of great shows at theme parks. And I've seen a couple of real stinkers as well. One of the things I love about theme parks is the shows and entertainment. And there have been some great ones over the years I've seen. And there have been a couple that have been not quite so great as well. My first memories of shows go all the way back to the 80s. I can actually remember a show at what was then Marriott's Great America that has just stuck in my mind over the years. One called The Evolution of Rock. I don't know why the show has stuck so well, because I was a kid when I saw it. But it was just an amazing show. They did a lot of music that I was already familiar with. A lot of artist impersonations, but they sang really well. And there's actually, even now, 40 years later, lines from that show still stuck in my mind. In fact, I actually even found a YouTube copy of the Chicago version of the show online. But that show really impacted me as a kid that when I go to theme parks, I don't just want to go for the rides. I want to see the entertainment as well. And I can have as much fun seeing shows as I can doing everything else. Over the years, I've seen some absolutely fantastic shows, and several of them stand out. So I have a list of seven of my favorite shows over the years, as well as a couple that were particularly bad. The first three shows are all kind of related in genre. They show the kind of show that I really enjoy. The very first one is the Golden Horseshoe Review at Disneyland. I absolutely loved this show as a kid. My family was always kind of into the Wild West type of shows, and I was so grateful that the first couple times we got to go to Disneyland that my parents made sure that we got to go see this show. It was just an amazing thing. It's been long enough, I don't know if I got to see Wally Bogue do it or not, but I absolutely remember parts and elements of the show loving the music, loving the Old West theme, laughing, liking the showgirls, and just having a great time watching this show. Childhood memories, of course, are a bit fuzzy, but that show was just absolutely wonderful. The next show was actually a show that we saw on the same vacation trips as Disneyland. Number two would be the old melodramas at the Birdcage Theater at Knott's Berry Farm. Yes, I like old melodramas. If you don't know what a melodrama is, a melodrama is when you have essentially the cartoonish good guy, bad guy, and damsel in distress. And anytime they come onto stage, the audience gets involved and they cheer the good guy, they boo the bad guy and hiss him, and then they ah for the damsel. They're totally cheesy and corny, but they are so much fun. It's one of those shows that the audience gets involved in, and the more the audience gets involved in it, the more fun the show is. We just had a ball with those. In fact, I love melodrama so much after seeing the one at Knott's Berry Farm. We actually, in the town I was growing up in, had a theater the next town over that did melodramas, and I was constantly begging to go see those. Absolutely loved them. The fact that the Birdcage Theater has been closed for years hurts. And I've been happy to see that for some of the things they've reopened it and occasionally done some stuff, but I miss those old melodramas. I don't know anybody that does them anymore, which is kind of sad. I'd be afraid if they tried to do one now that the audience would be too self-conscious and thinking it was too cheesy and not get into it anyways, which is really kind of sad because they're just so much fun. My third one falls into the same kind of genre. Number three, the Silver Dollar City Saloon. Yes, it's another one of those Old West, a little bit of audience participation with the saloon girls and the music and the singing and everything. You notice they all kind of fit together. And the Silver Dollar City Saloon is a wonderful example of a family-friendly, clean, hilarious, great show. You aren't going to have to walk in and worry about anything that your kids are going to see or hear because it's family friendly. It's a wonderful show. They always put a smile on my face, make me laugh. If you go to Silver Dollar City, it is on my list of things that you must do to say that you've really experienced Silver Dollar City, along with the train and the cave and fire in the hole. You gotta go see the saloon show. Awesome show. Number four. Katanga at Bush Gardens. This was probably my family's favorite show in Florida when we were there. Well, okay, maybe not my wife because she's not into musicals so much. But my kids and I loved this show. It was just a fantastic production. Great 
puppetry, I guess you could call it, with the animals. Wonderful music, a fun story. We would go and sing along, and it just had a great time. And some of the vocalists they had were, oh my goodness, amazing! to you all the bullfrog song and the monkeys and they had acrobats and it was just an amazing show it played for most of the time that we lived in florida they finally closed it about a year before we moved which was really sad because it was just an incredible show katanga still lives on as one of our favorites there are a couple copies of it on youtube that you can watch which is fantastic yeah go watch the videos and you'll see it was an amazing theme park show that was just surrounding you with all this absolutely love that show and miss it to death it was honestly the first show i think i ever wanted to buy the soundtrack for the show bush gardens didn't finally put up a dvd or soundtrack for sale until the show was about to close hello missed opportunity number five the Wild West Show at Silver Dollar City. Silver Dollar City is known for having great entertainment, and there's a lot of shows over the course of the years it's done that have been fantastic. The Wild West Show was part of the Fall Festival, and unfortunately, its last one was a couple years ago. You would have Native American hoop dancing, you had horse trick riding, you had bullwhip demonstrations, you had all sorts of stuff with this. It was just a really cool show that they put together i absolutely had a blast watching this and the talent of the people that were performing it was amazing i understand why they finally closed the show and moved on to something different it was such an amazing show that fit that festival so well and stands out as one of my favorites it was one of those shows that had something for everyone and so everyone was going to enjoy something in it number six medieval times Okay, I know this is not in a theme park, but if you think about the shows that I've just been talking about, with the talents, the abilities in it, getting the audience involved, I've been to some great dinner shows. I love Dolly Parton's Stampede. I loved going to the pirate show down in Florida when we did that. But Medieval Times was one that we just had our opportunity to get involved in the show, to cheer our night, to boo the enemy night, and just had a blast. The last couple times I've been able to go, which is a rare treat, have just been amazing, especially when you can get involved in the show so much that the night that you're booing will actually respond to you. I actually had one of them tell me to sit down and eat my chicken, <laughs> which was hilarious at the time. Medieval Times, yes, it's a bit of an expensive dinner show. But if you like the sword play, if you like horse riding, if you like being able to get up and boo somebody with gusto and have them really enjoy it because it's part of the show, Medieval Times is a great show for you. And they're all over the country. I've actually been to three different ones over the course of my life, and I really would love to go again, but there's none near me here in Missouri. Great show, though, if you ever get to go. Number seven, Dickens at Silver Dollar City. This is possibly my favorite show at any theme park. Disney has done some fantastic shows, which really probably ought to be on this list. Their production of Aladdin and Frozen in California Adventure was fantastic. They've had a couple great shows at Walt Disney World, but... Dickens at Silver Dollar City is just a fantastic show. It looks like something you would see on Broadway. It's an hour long, and there is a reason that people will wait an hour to an hour and a half to get into it at Christmas. If Silver Dollar City ever closes this show at Christmas time, there's going to be a riot on their hands because it is just so well done. The music, the acting, the comedy. They've had a number of people that have been doing the show for years and just do so well. This is one that at Christmas time, I go see the show at least twice and usually more like three or four times. I've actually seen it first thing in the morning, gone and done some other stuff, and then gone back and seen it again that same day. It's that good. If you ever get to Silver Dollar City at Christmas time, you need to go see Dickens. Oh, and my worst shows? Well, <laughs> the first one would have been one I got to see at Cedar Point. I can't really say the show itself was 
bad. It just was not what I liked. And that was their saloon show. The saloon show at Cedar Point kind of broke a couple rules that I have for saloon shows at theme parks. The number one being it's got to be family friendly and polite to the kids. So if you look at the other ones I've listed, the Golden Horseshoe Review, Birdcage, the Silver Dollar City Saloon, the Six Flags St. Louis Saloon Show, the one over at Frontier City, they're all family friendly with kids in mind. Cedar Points wasn't. They didn't do anything that could get them in trouble, but there were a couple parts of it that were uh, blatantly adultish, which I just didn't feel was appropriate. When I actually have to watch a show and I feel like I have to look away and look down at the floor because I don't like what they're doing up on stage, that's not good. That was one they did a couple years ago, and I hope it was a one-time thing. And yeah, maybe the name of the show should have been kind of a giveaway, but at the same time, I'm thinking theme park, family-friendly entertainment. That one kind of ranks up there, and hey, that's an easy thing to avoid. Just don't go see it. Go ride the coasters instead, because they got some of the best coasters and rides around. And the absolute worst show I ever saw was actually at Six Flags St. Louis back in 2004. We were there as part of our moving trip across the country and we got to go see this show that featured Merlin the Magician and a talking tree. Except Merlin was a young guy who obviously had no interest in what he was doing, looked bored to tears, and was putting up with the kids because he had to put up with kids. The talking tree wasn't very animated. The other people doing the show were kind of going through motions because, oh, here, we got to do it again. And this is only July. It was about July 4th. They still had a month and a half to do this show. It was so poorly acted. They flubbed on a one or two of the magic tricks. My poor son got pulled up on stage as one of the kids because they were begging kids to come up. Don't you want, please come up. We need a kid. Won't you be the kid? I need a kid. Because the kids didn't want to do it because the people doing the show were so very obviously not enthusiastic about the show. And we kind of joked as a group afterwards as to which was worse. Ninja, which was particularly horrible at the time, beat us up. And none of us liked Ninja, even slightly. In fact, that one went on the list of worst coasters at the time. Or the show. The show was that bad. And a couple of us were like, you know, I think I'll go take Ninja again and get beat up rather than go sit in that thing. It was bad. So have you seen some great or some not so great shows? I would love to hear what your favorites were and what your worst ones were. Please share them in the comments below. And hey, if you got shows that you really think I should see or avoid, let me know. Thank you so much for liking and sharing the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. All sorts of fan information is down below for merchandise, fan pages, and so much more. So be sure to check the description. Thank you as well to my patrons for supporting me and helping me get to go see a couple of those shows that made it on the list. If you want to know more about Patreon or YouTube memberships and supporting me, Check the description below or look for the join button. Thank you so very much for watching and God bless. Number two was a show that we actually saw. Num Number three, again, my last. Here. Silver Dollar City. We kind of joked afterwards as a grope. As a grope? Yeah, no, we didn't joke as a grope. Yeah. That would be more like the Cedar Park show um that would be more like the cedar point show i can't even talk oh my gosh okay <laughs>